Good day, ma'am. Me and my group will report Module 3, uh, Lesson 3.2, Security Personnel Qualifications, Firearms, and Equipment. So, let's start at the uh, definition of terminologies. Number one is person. This includes not only natural but also juridical persons such, such as single proprietorship, partnerships, uh, corporations, or companies, or associations, and duly organized and registered with the Security Exchange Commission and all uh, and and or the Department of Trade Industry. Second is Security Guard. Also known as a private security guard watchman shall include any person who offers or render person, personal services to watch or secure either a res, res, residence business, business establishment or both buildings, compounds, or areas for higher compens or compensation or as employee there, there including any uh, any employee of the national or local governments or agencies or instrumentalities thereof and or government buildings, compounds, premises and other properties other than members of the AFP, BGMP uh, or any other law enforcement agency government uh, so so dito sa security security guard po uh, is stated dito na uh, it is also known as a private security guard uh, shall include any person who offers or render personal services to watch secure either a residence business or establishment or other buildings establishments so uh, proceed to uh, number three is private detective it refers to any pers person who does the detective work for hire reward or compensation other than members member of the AFP, BGMP, Provincial Guards, PNP, or any law enforcement agency of the government. So, dito po sa uh, private detective is ito po sila yung ano, uh, work for hire. So, ito po yung sila yung hire for uh, detective works. So, fourth is the the license to uh, exercise profession or license certificate uh, this is the document issued by the CPNP or his duly or, uh, authorized representative recognizing a person to be qualified to perform his duties as security guard or detective so it was number, number four is uh, ito po ay gan ito, ito po ay license that uh, license document that states uh, pers uh, recognizing a person to be uh, uh, qualified to perform uh, the duties of a security guard or detective. Uh, next is uh, next is the uh, minim minimum qualification qualifications for security guards security officers and security consultants are stated below okay ito po number one is basic requisites for uh, security guards no person shall be licensed as security guard unless he possesses the following qualifications so uh, number one is you must be a you must be a ano, Filipino citizen. Uh, yes. Uh, second is uh, high school graduate or higher. Uh, it, 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 ito po yung mga ano uh, minimum uh, minimum qualifications ng pagiging security guard. C is uh, third is. Uh, 
physically and mental fit so yes no in order to become a security guard one of the uh, qualifications is you must be a uh, phys physically and mentally fit uh, D or for at, at least 18 years old but not more than 50 years old so dito po is uh, uh, may meron po kasi lang pinipiling edad uh, hindi masyadong bata hindi, hindi, hindi dapat minor, minor de edad o hindi naman masyadong uh, matanda okay uh, other is has undergone undergone pre-licensing training course and must and must not possess any of the disqualifications so yes po no uh, uh, the person must done, must undergone pre-licensing training course in order to become a security guard or detective number two the desirable qualities of security guards in addition to the minimum qualifications security guards must not uh, must also possess this following a is alertness a good guard must be alert in spotting violators this can be attained by being watchful, dedicated, and diligent. So, as stated po, ano, eh, uh, dito sa alertness, uh, alam naman siguro natin, no? uh, you must be alert and watchful of your surroundings to, and uh, uh, in order to fill our responsibilities as guards. Uh, B is judgment. Sound and good judgment is more than the use of common sense. Yes, common sense. <laughs> it it is the, arri the arriving at wise and timely decision. So it is for no uh, judgment. Uh, okay. C is confidence. It is the state of being sure. A state of being of the mind free from doubt or misgivings this attribute includes faith faith in oneself and in his abilities which is attained by job knowledge Thro throughout and proper proper training plus good supervision instills confidence yes there is no hindi naman pwede siguro maging confident na lang wala namang ika ano so, so uh, in order to become uh, become a confident guard you must also possess other good qualities of the guard uh, okay next D is physical fitness security work is strenuous and demanding physical condition is essential if a physical condition is essential if he is to be a dependable guard so you know, po, uh, physically fit dapat po physically fit in order to uh, uh, in order to not uh, para hindi tayo maging tamad-tamad sa ating trabaho uh, E tactfulness the ability of the guard to deal with other others successfully without offend without offending again the ability of the, of the guard to deal with others successfully without offending in short he can be firm but pleasant so stated po no yun 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 po siya F is self control ability to take hold of oneself regardless of a provoking situation 
with self-control, the God will do His work without being angry, and and the situation will be will be on hand. Uh, other other one G is in interest, loyalty, responsible, and trustworthy is also important important attributes to be a reliable guard number three uh, exemptions from pre-licensing the following need not undergo pre-licensing trading for security guards a veterans or and retired or honorably discharged military or police personnel possessing all qualifications mentioned in the residing sections so yes well, no? as stated uh, one of the uh, exempt uh, exemptions sa pre-licensing pre -licensing <coughs> uh, sa pre-licensing trainings is those uh, veterans retired or retired honorably discharged military or police personnel because they already uh, uh, possess the qualification qualifications of a security guard okay and the other one is uh, ROTC advanced basic graduates uh, okay and or it's equivalent in the AFP, PNP, uh, say uh, CAPGO or CHDF. Fourth is qualifications of private detective. Uh, private detective. No person shall be licensed as a private detective unless he possesses any of the following qualifications. A holder of but as uh, baccalaureate degree or bachelor of laws or or b bs criminology graduate or c graduate of, of criminal investigation course offered by the offered by the then pc i n or inp or the pnp or the nbi or police training school or detective training with the authorized recognized training center for for security guard or uh, the advanced re advanced reserve officers training course of or citizen military training ROTC CMT graduates. So that's all for me. Thank you. Use of firearms and equipment. One. Position of firearms by PSA. After complying all the requirements, PSA are entitled to possess firearms of any of the following. A. Shotguns not higher than 12 gauge. B. Low power rifle or revolvers caliber 22. C. Caliber 38 pistols or revolvers not exceeding 1 FA for every 2 security guards in XMP. D. Minimum number of firearms. 1. PSA with 100 guards, at least 3 pieces of licensed firearms. However, after operating 6 MOS, the PSA can procure firearms in proportion proportion to the number of posted guards. 2. For regular license to operate application, at least 7 pieces of firearms. 3. Use of firearms for private detective agencies shall be optional. 2. Restriction to possess certain caliber of firearm. The total number of the prescribed high-powered firearm shall not exceed 10% of the total number of guard employed. Private security agency are not allowed to possess high-caliber guns or firearms such as carbine, M16, 
caliber 45, center fire, fire magnum caliber 41 and 44, and high caliber firearm except which such private PSA or CSF is operating in areas where there is an upsurge of lawlessness and criminality exception is granted by CPNP or regional director of regional police officer under the following accusation of the high powered firearms shall be expense of the PSA or CSF concerned be before the firearms are issued the same should be registered with the PNP FAD and the security personnel who will use such firearms shall fired be given adequate training in the care and use thereof which will be under the supervision of qualified officers and men of the PNP. 3. Limitation on carrying of firearms. The issued firearm shall be carried only by the security guard where during his tour of duty when in proper uniform within the compound of the establishment he is assigned and the uh, except when he is escorting big amount of cash or valuables and upon prior coordination with, with nearest PNP units or station on four duty detail order or DDO private security agencies duties under the circumstances mentioned in the company security forces detailing security personnel proceeding section or while escorting big amount of cash shall issued an appropriate DDO using security agency and group supervision division from number or valuable outside its, ju its jurisdiction or area of operation 12 to 94. Number 5. Confiscation of Firearms Firearms could be confiscated when the, it is a. About to be used in the commission of a crime b. Actually being used in commission of a crime c. Has just, has just been used in the commission of a crime d. Is being carried by the security guard is unlicensed or not authorized by law and regulation for his use e. Confiscated by order of the court F. Used or carried outside the AOR and the security guard without proper authority or G. The security, security guard is unlicensed. Number 6. Disposition of confiscated firearms. The law enforcement officer who confiscated the FA shall inform the CPNP through CSG with, within 24 hours after such confiscation. A. The firearm shall be turned over immediately to the nearest PNP unit station, who shall immediately turn over to the same to the CSG district office. B. When the confiscation is by the order of the court, the same shall be turned over to the court concerned. Number 7. Filling of application. It shall be filled with the A. FED through the SAGSD and CSG district office for region outside NCR in accordance with the firearm law and implementing executive order and regulation in addition submitted. A. Duly approved LTO. B. Certification of safety vault ownership as prescribed by the chief. Firearm and Explosive Division or CFED C. 40 pesos surely banned pay for firearms to be deposited through the PNB and a FA certificate of this deposit shall be secured pursuant to section 887 of the 
of the Revised Administrative Code, RAC. And the, follow, the following should be D. Strong statement of the manager or operator of the agency that is security personnel should be required by the management to undertake the following in case of impending or actual strike. Number one, to, to report to the CPNP or the nearest police station such impending strike. Number two, the exercise necessary diligence in the collection of safekeeping of FAs to include safety bolt to prevent the use of the FA in the furtherance of the strike. Number three, to ensure that all FAs and ammunition in the position of all striking security personnel of the agency are immediately collected in security in the safety vault under control of the agency and number four to assume responsibility in the proper handling of FAs in order to prevent misuse of same of that no non-members should be allowed to hold said FAs issued or license in favor of the agency Eight, revocation of license to possess FES. Reason of, re reason of revocation. A. Failure to submit any issued FA for verification as required by Section 897 of REC. B. Carrying of FES by security personnel without appropriate DDO. C. When it's serial number is duplicated or using SN for more than one firearm. D. Carrying of EPS outside the place state in the permit as required by EO or carrying FA in place prohibit, prohibited under the law. E. Con conviction of the oper operator or manager of the agency of any crime involving moral turpitude or F when the firearm was reported lost. 9. Legal position of firearms. No security guard private detective shall use unlicensed APS in the performance of his duty, nor be allowed to use with duplicated serial numbers. 10. Stacking of ammunition. It, it shall be on a limited and reasonable quantity that suit the need of agency subjected to regular inspection by and be representatives of, of the CPNP. 11. It shall not exceed 50 rounds of ammuni ammunition unit duly licensed if yes. 12. Individual issue to security guard shall be limited to the 25 rounds per SG. 13. Use of VHF or UHF handheld reduce. Optional on the part of management of the agency or company depending on the prevailing station provided that such equipment is properly registered in accordance with the existing law.